Good morning, everyone. I'm not sure if you can hear the sound of scythiarism through the trees. That was a word that I learned recently, which is basically the rustling sound through the trees. Um, and apparently it like blurs the line. Well, it just kind of walks the line of music and noise. I think you're a bit zoomed in, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Um, welcome back. It's Monday when you're watching this, I think. And I had the loveliest weekend um, just basically with friends all weekend. And it was really lovely, either with friends or in the garden, which there isn't really a better way to spend the weekend, in my humble opinion. Um, but I've got a really, really busy week this week. I've got Ascot. We've got Supper Club at Dalesford this evening. Um, I believe have I got another thing I've got to go to? I should probably check my diary. And then I'm flying to Ireland at the end of this week for a girls trip with Carrie. Hands up if you remember the girls trip that Carrie and I went on. I think it was 2019, just before COVID hit. And it was like one of the best trips we'd ever been on. It was just hilarious. I'll link, I, I feel like I reference it so much in all of my vlogs. I was like, that trip was so good. And whilst we're not trying to um, emulate that trip in any way, it's gonna be very different this trip because we're staying in like central Dublin, not central Dublin, central Ireland-ish um, and going to a hotel that I've wanted to visit to, visit uh, uh, like loads. Um, it's funny actually, I've kind of made a bit of a point of that this year, going to the places that I want to visit that have been on my like bucket list that you know obviously in my job we get this really cool thing where a lot of the time in the early days I was trying hotels that I would never have even dreamed of going to and with that I've now got a really sort of I really enjoy it I really enjoy that side of traveling and things like that so I found a number of hotels that now I'm sort of like oh yeah <laughs> I want to go there and this was one of them purely because they had the most beautiful like glass house it's i think it's joined onto the property so i'm not sure if that makes it it's probably an orangery um but it's beautiful and to combine island and all of that stuff is going to be lovely and they also have a um a walled garden where they have one cottage that you can book and so i've actually booked the cottage for carrie and i which i think is going to be so lovely um, but yes, yeah, so that's sort of the plan this week. I think I've got to go. No, I've not got to go to London. I'm like everywhere but London this week. Anyway, 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 anyway. We wanted to um, go to the Dalesford Festival at the weekend. We had tickets for, uh, I can't remember. That bug just fell in my hand, how gross. Uh, yes, we wanted to go to the Dalesford Festival this uh, weekend and uh, we had tickets <laughs> and we rocked up. And we couldn't get it. Well, it's not that we couldn't get in. It was just the queues. And um, I, Carrie and I got out the car and walked to the front of the car queue only to see that there was a really long like person queue. And I needed the little girl's room so badly that um, I couldn't possibly wait in that. So we walked back to the car and just went for lunch at Soho Farmhouse. Um, but I wanted to say to the, the car full of American ladies that shouted my name as I was walking down the thing, I'm so sorry. But you know when you're like, it actually hurts that I need to go to the toilet at this point in time. <laughs> sorry for the DMI. Um, but so I was like, I couldn't actually stop and say hello. Cause I was like, it's either hug you guys or wet myself at this point in time. <laughs> so yeah, it was really lovely. A really lovely weekend. I gardened until 10 PM last night. And I feel like that's a very good start to the day. So anyway, we're going to get to a bit of a windy bit now. So boys, boys. They just love sniffing things. And it was funny in the early days. Oh, there's someone with a dog. In the early days, um, I used to be like, come on, come on. But they literally wait all day and all night for um, this kind of stuff. So I let them crack on with their sniffs. Come on, boys. Good boys. Good boys. I am back from the dog walk and just admiring my little sweet peas from the garden. This is my first time ever growing sweet peas and it has been a learning curve to say the least because you might see that there are these little purple tips on these ones. Well, one of my um, frames of sweet peas has got a rather purple element to it, even though I only grew white sweet peas. So 
Good that one of them has stayed white, but the other one definitely has influences of purple in there. But they smell delicious. They also drink a lot because I only put that here yesterday night, so must remember to keep topping them up. Um, but yes, they're looking so lovely in here. I am just sorting out my dressing room because today is um, fabrics day in the dressing room. So my blinds are being fitted. I have my little um, poof stool to go here, which will be where I put like my handbag that I'm using that day and what have you. Um, and a little mini cushion as well to go in here. Now the cushion initially was for this chair, but I'm actually thinking I'm gonna put it on that chair, but we'll have a play around. Um, obviously I've shown you the fabrics. I'm so excited to see them in here. My dress today is LK Bennett. Um, I actually was gonna wear this to Ascot but I think it's just a bit too casual, I think, in the fabric. I also think I need to have it taken in a little bit, um, but I love it so much. I loved the colors of this. It is so, so beautiful. So I actually think I'm gonna wear it today because it feels nice. Although I am going to, we're going to Dalesford this evening. No, we're not going to Dalesford. Well, we are going, <laughs> we are going to Dalesford, but we're going to uh, Dalesford first. We've got a supper club at the Wild Rabbit. So yeah, I need to decide whether I'm gonna wear this. It's not quite so sunny today, so I wanna be warm and not cold. So I have a think. I've also got Ascot tomorrow with the LK Bennett team. Um, and I think this is the dress that I'm going to wear now. I was gonna wear this one, um, but this one is silk. And I think that the red picks out the details on my um, Emily London hat so well. I was gonna wear, my Arvel one, I still haven't had the chance to wear it, but I think that this dress just isn't the dress for this, I don't think. So hopefully I'm gonna get a chance to wear it because honestly that hat is incredible. Um, I've also just, uh, yeah, I've just been having a bit of a spruce up in here, ready for the piece de resistance in here. But um, yeah, really, really looking forward to this room being finished, oh my goodness. Well, the fabrics and blinds are in and I am so, so happy. Oh, it's gonna be so hard to show you these, but um, this is obviously the fabric I've been showing you for such a long time. This is my little um, like Ottoman stool that basically I actually have had it made tall enough that it will actually go underneath my dressing table over here should I want to use it under there but at the moment I think the linens go so well with the linen that's already on that chair I think it works fine but this little this little corner here oh I am so so happy with it and this is so light so I can push it around on the floor really easily but for the most part it's just a little stool seat for either opening windows or popping things on or sitting on depending if I have people in my dressing room or not but yes this room, for the most part, I always say for the most part, just to cover my own back, is finished. And I can't believe how much better it sounds in here. The acoustics are so much better with the fabrics. It just feels so much cozier. I'm very, very happy. I now have to get ready for dinner very, very quickly. Now the sun has come out today, so I'm kind of torn on what to wear. I feel like I should probably wear something. Um, oh, I could do a cardigan over the top of this dress i could do this one actually see what we think also i'll put you there you'll be able to see the blinds on that window as well <laughs> yes well, i don't know if it must be a bit casual wearing a cardigan like this i'm not too sure mm. no what am i gonna wear what are we gonna wear let's have a think it is highly likely that I have a new favorite angle for showing you my outfits now, um, but I've decided to just wear this Erdem dress from a few years ago, two or three years ago, I can't remember how long ago, and I know people like to get very partic particular about um, <laughs> when things were introduced, but anyway, yeah, no, this is one of my favorite Erdem dresses. I wore it recently in Kentucky, and um, it actually goes from sort of like really dressy to um, more casual quite easily and I think because this is a supper club I still want to look nice but not too over the top so um, yeah I think this is a good option I've gone for Jimmy Choo Maylies and 25 and I'm wearing Tier because it makes me happy um, but yeah just loving how it feels in here the acoustics feel so much better very very happy it's made such a difference Mr. Millen Gordon picked his outfit to complement mine. You can't actually see, but his jacket is 
a very lovely shade of green. Although this is a very similar green to the dress that I've got, whereas on this camera it looks brown. Does it? Yeah, it's so weird. Even in under the light here? Yeah, even more so. Brown. Yeah, I think it's the warm tones of this camera. It makes things look brown like when they're green. But anyway, we need to go. Gosh, I'm looking a little bit tired. That's what my blooming 5 a.m. wake up calls do to me. But Ali is just putting his bits and pieces in the house and then we're going, I've never been to a summer, a summer club. I've definitely been to a summer club. I basically lived at them uh, as a child because that's what having a single parent household is like. You're always at summer clubs, um, summer camps or whatever they're called. Um, but I've never been to a supper club before and I don't really know what to expect. I don't know who's going to be there. I don't know how it's set out. I don't know how you dress. This is all very, very new. Um, and I'm quite looking forward to it. Doing lots of new things at the moment, which I quite like. Um, but yes, just I'm, I, honestly, I could have just sat all evening in my dressing room. That's probably what I'll do on Wednesday. I can't do it tomorrow because I'm at Ascot, but on Wednesday I'm going to sit in my armchair and I'm just going to look at my dressing room and just feel happy in it. I think when, once a space is like finished like that, for me it just it's a very calming experience and yeah, I can't really explain it but it really calms my soul. <laughs> And the lady that did the, the blinds, who helped me with picking all of the fabrics and that kind of thing, she literally said, she's like, I've just, I, I don't think I've ever met someone that's surrounded by so many, like, just beautiful things. And I'm like, oh, that's like the nicest thing anyone's ever said. And obviously, I know what that means. It means that I'm neurotic and um, everything's got to look nice. But, I mean, I've just, that's just the way that I am. And in all honesty, I just feel like that's because... I, I just surround my, I don't even know what I'm saying, but I just enjoy looking at nice things. Like it calms my like mind to just look at pretty things. And I don't mean like pretty people or whatever, just like beautiful things like flowers and like, you know, the, all, right now I'm sat here and I'm looking at my house and there's all of these wisteria tendrils coming off of the house where the wisteria has gone wild. That to me is beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful because it's just like, unplanned and unexpected and it's just wonderful so yeah anyway Ali's looking at me weird because he can see that I'm talking to you but oh I've got a video going live any minute I need to get crack on this is too cute at the village church they have a little plant sale which just give one pound, you can have one of their tomato plants. There's lots of different things here. Goodness me. So we are starting with our welcome drinks and this is strawberry, basil, basil, basil and balsamic vinegar. We went for the non-alcoholic option because obviously we have Ascot tomorrow and there is a flight of wine, but I am going to tell them on the flight of wine that I will only have a small amount. I'm not having full glasses because that is so nice. No way. Oh my God, you didn't even cheers me, babe. How rude. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it's kind of like, um, like a, uh, it's like a non-alcoholic strawberry daiquiri. Yeah. Mm, very nice. Ooh. Thank you. Yeah. Be fair. Yeah. The chunky smoked aubergine. Yes. Um, two types of baby gem. So the charred one and then the compressed gem, which kind of makes it crunchier and crispier. And then obviously saddle of lamb, which, like Sam said, is the. Yeah. yeah. He always says so he's on a posh boy. So he loves all. If it's lamb, it's got to be saddle. Ending the evening with a gorgeous little Cotswold meow. Hello. I saved you. You were sitting in the road on a bend. You silly moo. Yes! Yes, you silly moo! Yes, you go. Yes, if you catch a glimpse of me, I am in my nighty. <laughs> Hello! Um, but I just couldn't wait to get home and have a look at this room in the evening. Just, oh, I'm just so happy. I kept looking at my story, I'm such a geek. I put up a story of like this view here, where you can like see the Ottoman the little stool down there and you can see, oh, it just looks so nice. The only thing is, is my switch has stopped working for my chandelier on um, this day, which is a bit annoying. So I need to get a new switch, but it still works and everything. 
But yes, I just couldn't wait to get back. However, I'm not gonna go too, too close to the um, thing because I am in my nighty. But um, dinner was absolutely lovely. We had, um, it was basically lamb lovers, supper club, and um, it was, oh my gosh, we had these lamb bao buns before as like canapes. I think those are my favorite thing. In fact, in fact, I wish I just had one big one of those because, oh my gosh, so good. Although the lamb was incredible and we had the, um, basically like the top dog, of the Dalesford farm estate, basically the, the top farmer who now sort of runs the show and runs the 10,000 acres that Dalesford um, farm. And he came and sat with us on our table and we just spoke to him and, and he just came and sat on our table and basically we were picking his brains about regenerative farming. And Lumi Bengal, if you so much as think about sticking your claws in that Ottoman, you will, yeah. That's what I thought. So we were picking his brain about regenerative farming um, and just learning a lot about how Dalesford do things when it comes to farming. Um, even just down to the type of sheep that they farm, the processes that they, they take, that kind of thing. It was very, very interesting. The food was delicious and we made it home in almost good time. Um, not too bad if the roadworks weren't so bad around where we live. But yes, um, so now we're gonna try and get to bed and obviously get up early because it is Ascot tomorrow. So I'll see you guys in the morning and not in my nighty. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It will look nice and bright in here, but it is actually very, very dark outside. We've had the most like wonderful British style downpour this morning. It has been intense. Um, but the garden needs it. I'm trying to think of all of the positive reasons why it's good to have rain today, but we are going to Ascot, so I'm a bit worried because um, my two shoe choices are either suede or open toe, which is not best on a day like today. However, it is supposed to like brighten up uh, throughout the day. And I think from like nine o'clock, I think it's supposed to brighten up. I've washed my hair again today. And the one thing about my hair with extensions is it gets even more waterlogged than my natural hair. So it takes me forever to dry. I'm hoping I'm not gonna be late this morning. Um, but I am up and I'm going to be using a product that um, I've not told you about. And I have to preface this and say that I'm a very, very loyal Sandra Pay person all the time. However, I really, really like this product from Amanda Harrington. This is her face mist and this is the Illuminating Bronze Face Mist. And I wear, I, I use this on days when I'm like, mm, I don't wanna tan my whole body. I want something instant because this has like an instant sort of guide color that gives you, oh, it's also age defying, radiance boosting and rejuvenating. Um, I'll show you it as I put it on. I basically, I don't spritz it on like a mist because otherwise it would get in my hair and ruin my hair. So I'll show you, but this just gives me a bit of color, a bit more color when maybe I need it. And we had a, not a hugely late night last night, I have to be honest, um, but it was a later night than we probably should have had before. Um, oh dear. Oh, that's Sandra Pay falling out of my cupboard in protest. <laughs> like, how dare you? Um, but no, I just don't need a full tan today. I'm like, I'm good, I'm good. So, um, Yes, we've got an attendance at Ascot with LK Bennett and um, we're going to be in a box with them, which I really like having a box at Ascot. I think it's um, a really lovely way to do it. We did the, the Royal Enclosure last year and that was really lovely, like such a wonderful experience. We did that with Lavazza. And, um, but when you have a box, you always have like a really good base. <laughs> See my bag there you always have a really good like base to like leave things you can take coats that kind of thing and I just feel always like it's a bit more like comfortable so it should be a really really lovely day um and look I'm lucky that Ali's coming with me as well so we're gonna get to join together we were like basically saying last night on the way home we were like saying that we really just want to like enjoy ourselves Ali was worrying because he was supposed to be shooting a campaign in London but he may not have to and because we really enjoy like the, um, the sort of traditional elements of Ascot and events like it, the dressing up, I think it's, in fact, I was talking to another blogger that I met at the Intelligent Change Summit on um, Instagram the other day about like dress codes and things like that. Uh, she was saying that she went to the theatre and she was really shocked that it wasn't like really, people weren't really dressed up. And 
I was sort of the same when I went to the theatre. I was like, oh, I thought this would be really dressy, but I think over the years it's maybe changed. And I know that there's like, there'll be, I'm sure there's counter arguments and things like that, but I just really love the keeping that tradition alive. And I think that these events are really good for that. Anyway, I'm wearing LK Bennett today, but I want to look a little bit more bronzy in my face. So this is how I do this. I should really have a like <laughs> hairband to cover my hair, but basically I just go like this. And you can see the colour. And you have to quickly get it before it, it like rubs off. Well, runs off. But I just find this gives a really like nice colour to your face when I just think I need a bit more bronze. I do a little bit on my... You can also spray it onto the mitt to be fair, but I just like monitoring how much I'm putting on. my ears I think that might be enough you know you don't want to go too ham with it but that's all I'm doing so anyway I'm gonna get myself ready for the day because I can't be late and my hair is st like I'm still finding like damp bits in my hair like trust the process Lydia it'll be worth it in the end when your hair has like grown back it will yeah because I, I'm noticing how much like better condition my hair is since having the diamond cut and I've been using all of uh, Michael Van Clark's products since, and I have zero split ends, like not a single split end. I actually can't believe that. But anyway, let's crack on. This is my outfit for Royal Ascot with LK Bennett. I'm wearing this beautiful 100% silk dress. Um, this is just so gorgeous and it's feather light as well. So if it should get a little bit hot, then I'll be fine. I've then got my Emily London hat. I felt like the red berries really picked out the florals really beautifully. I'm wearing a Carolina Herrera lipstick that has a kind of like corally red tone to it. I feel like my hair hasn't gone as nice today, but we're just gonna go with it because we have to go. Um, shoes at the moment are Jimmy Choo, but I might change to Emmy London, although I think I'm gonna be a bit more comfortable in these, however, We'll see how we go. I think probably these. We've arrived, making an entrance. Haven't even checked my hair or lipstick, but the you look inside. Wonderful. Thanks. Nick. Almost as good as me. <laughs> <laughs> Always looking sharp. <laughs> to Royal Ascot 2023, day one. Yeah, it looks lovely. You've done an amazing job. There's Lydia. I like how you've tied in the uh, floral on the table with the dresses. It's very thought through. Yeah, I like it. Lydia doesn't even know it, but the berries on her hat are also in line with the table display. actually had to leave just after the King's procession because I'm going for an interview with Forbes magazine. So uh, we're just going to talk about style and going yeah, to Nah, 
Well, we're currently on the third race here at Ascot, day one, and the crowds are taking five in between the races. You can tell it's thinned out a lot. Must all be inside having a drink. Oh my gosh, the print on this is so beautiful. It's just so many. That. Yeah, that's smart. It's very smart. Gorgeous. Mm -hmm. I quite like this one. Yeah. Maybe too red on the red for you. That's nice. That's very smart. Very smart. Yeah, that is smart. It's almost got like a bit of Gucci vibe. Yes. There. It's very nice. Very poshy. Very posh. 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 Very posh.
This is spectacular. Oh my gosh, they're sweepies. <gasps> Look at their sweepies. All different colors. Wow. We are just exploring all of the beautiful flowers. So Carrie was just telling me that this flower farm has actually only just been relocated. So everything's kind of growing in and establishing itself. But the sheep love it very clearly. <laughs> oh, look, they've got roses over there. Oh, this is so, so pretty. These ruffly poppies with happy little honeybees on there. Oh. So I think these are ranunculars or peonies. I'm not too sure. They're just coming up, but they've used the sheep's wool from the farm to obviously keep the, the roots protected and probably lock in a bit more moisture. But that is fascinating. I've never seen that before, the sheep's wool. Yeah. We are now back from block printing and it was so much fun. I highly recommend um, if you're in this kind of area of the world, the sort of Buckinghamshire, Oxfordshire, that kind of Northamptonshire area, definitely um, if you can get down there and like book in. It was so much fun, so therapeutic. Would have loved to have done it with wine. However, today I'm like bleary eyed, so um, probably a good thing not to. And I have a very, very early start tomorrow for the trip to Ireland. The design I went for, I feel like was kind of, um, the sort of complementary design for the bits that I painted at Social Pottery, which have just arrived fresh from the kiln. And I realized that I actually should have, on the um, moisturizer pump, I should have done a slightly off-white background. I think the white might be a bit too stark. I wish I'd kind of softened it a little bit. But, now, the thing that you'll notice is this is darker than um, when I painted it. It was more of like a sagey green. We did know that, so they do go darker. I wanted it this sort of dark green. It's actually beautiful. I actually can't believe that I painted that. Like, that could be sh sold in a shop, and you would, like, not know that it was just a complete and utter amateur. Um, but I loved it, absolutely loved it. I want to do like a bigger one of this as well so that we've got the both of them. Um, so that was my little, in fact, this is gonna be so cute to put my like next little bunch of sweet peas, which by the way, they are absolutely blooming. I'm hoping, I, I don't wanna waste any whilst I'm away either. Um, so that's the first one. And then this is, so this one that I painted was kind of like an impulse one. We're basically, we're booking another day to go because we all loved it so much. We're gonna take the boys with us. Um, but this is for my dressing room. Oh, it's got a bit blue. But I quite think, I think it works in here. But this is actually for me to decant body moisturizer into and pop on here. I wonder whether I can put like a nicer little pump on it, like something a little bit glassy 
um, a bit metal, sorry, so that I can pop my little body moisturizers in there and use that. I just thought that was a, a cute little touch that I just rushed at the end. But the thing that I can see on this one is I can see where I've not gone over it enough. So it's dried a little bit lighter, but I feel like it's a bit effective. But yes, so all of the sort of evergreen inspired looks. This one, it goes like a really sort of vivid green. It must be the mixing with the, the terracotta color, but I loved them. Oh my gosh, it just looks so, so nice. I'm gonna put all of my ruffly sweet peas in here. Oh, so, so gorgeous. Um, so now I'm kind of trying to pack the island, but we have really weird weather whilst we're out there. So it's gonna be raining when we arrive tomorrow. Um, and then it's gonna be kind of gray and miserable on the Saturday. And then it's going to be sort of raining on the Sunday as well. I don't wanna to take too much stuff with me, but I need to take basically stuff for every eventuality. So we're gonna be having like dinners and lunches, but I think we're also gonna get out and do some like walking, but we want to obviously feel nice whilst we're doing it. So I've actually got this dress. This is another dress from Goelia, and you'll know that I don't often wear like short dresses anymore. I just feel funny in them. I don't know why, I just, I think maybe it's just as I'm getting older, I just feel a bit funny in them. But this one arrived and I loved it. This is such a cute touch. So this was like walking boots or something like that. I can pop a little cardigan over the top. I was just kind of trying it on. But yeah, I thought this would be a lovely, lovely option. But I'm gonna take some other bits and pieces in case I'm cold. Um, I've got a cardigan, but it's the first opportunity for me to use my new little bag for traveling. So yes, I'm gonna be putting this to the test for the first time, which I'm looking forward to. Really loving this. Yeah, so I'm, that's basically what I'm doing. I'm also gonna take you out and show you the chicken coop because I realized that I ran out of time in my last vlog and I didn't show you the chicken coop and just show you all of the plans and things like that for, for that. But for the most part, I need to kind of get packing and get on my merry way. So a lot of time has passed since we last spoke. I started to show you something and I was informed that Lumi was limping. Um, we've taken her to the vets, it's nothing serious. I had a meltdown and because obviously I've been looking forward to going and um, it's just not ideal, but she, I thought it was broken. It is bad, like we don't know what's happened. We think maybe from her like chasing bunnies that she's hurt it, but she's okay. You guys know what I'm like by now with Lumi. I have this, well, just with any of my animals, I just, I can't cope with it. I can't cope and I wish I could I can't. And speak of the lady herself. Lulu, don't go in there, please. Because that's how you get shut in places. And the last time you got shut in places, you licked yourself because you were stressed. Well, you pop in there for a little while. You come in out, you show everyone your hop along leg. little limb oh but the thing that Lumi oh she, they said it's not broken um, but whatever you do please don't jump onto the new bag Lumi please you can jump anywhere but that I know so it's not broken but they have given Lumi her favorite thing which is Metacam because Lumi's not allowed treats Metacam is like a treat even though it's medicine I know I know Oh, pop it. You're still eating, you're still okay. You just got a bit of a, a poorly ouchy. But what I was trying to show you when um, they let me know that she was limping was, um, I don't know if you remember, but a few years ago, I said that like every year on my anniversary, I would try on my um, wedding dress. And I have not stuck to that because for the last two years, I don't know what happened, but in storage, this ended up with a huge, massive brown stain um, just there. And <laughs> today, of all days, it was returned to me by Satin and um, they'd managed to clean it at the, um, at the, what's it called, the dry cleaners. And so I have my wedding basket. And the thing is, I actually haven't tried this on with my new chest area. 
and I think that'd be quite nice because one of the things I look back on on my wedding day is like oh Lydia your boobs like you just look so silly on your frame and I'm just like I wish I could go back and like change that but you can't so anyway but it was a very very lovely surprise because honestly I thought I'd never be able to wear this again and I think this with trousers and things like that is actually a really lovely touch but also like to events and things like that if you wear it with a different skirt it's just it's such a beautiful piece it's from Halfpenny um and yeah I'm gonna try it on <laughs> I think dinner's ready first and foremost but it's gonna be a late one and I've got an early morning um but you can always tell when I've been on an emotional roller coaster because I am just like so lethargic when I come on here and I'm just sorry I just go into like panic mode and I'm just ugh, I can't cope silly isn't it but I think that's love the price you pay for love <laughs> well I thought I'd bring you out to the garden because I realized I did not show you the finished chicken coop um I'll take you over there in a second but also just to show you um our little hedge borders were replaced today um we've also had more verbena added to the rose beds so we had two verbena plants in there and we should have had i think about three in this one and then another one in that one the verbena just sticks above the roses and looks really really lovely and so um yeah they've just been adding those bits and pieces in we should although it doesn't look like they have or they have they've added so I'm a bit, I'm annoyed about this because, and it's a very small thing to be annoyed about and I'm not really that annoyed. Um, but these are the original. Now these, I'm sure these have already been planted and they didn't establish themselves. But this part here is all supposed to be like delicate, fluffy white original. You're not supposed to be able to see the soil. Um, I also think it's about time that we take, took out our alliums. I just really like the green structure. I feel like that's really underrated but um, these beds are a lot more full at the moment and looking lovely. We've also, anyway, enough about that. I need to take you over here because I get so distracted by all of the pretty flowers. Also, our lavender is almost out, but this is our chicken coop. So we have created, well, Ali, Mr. Millen Gordon has created um, a lovely little wildflower border to it, which I think is really nice. Now we're kind of trying it out this year and um <laughs> the boy's coming to inspect yeah we're trying it out this year and um if we like it we may add more of this into the the garden because it's a really lovely way of creating structure and creating rooms um without sort of like very expensive hedging and things like that which you don't want to do it anyway because sometimes it can take a lot of light and there is our, our oldest sausage urinating on the chicken coop <laughs> <laughs> but anyway um it's actually not finished they're supposed to have come to finish it um this week but they haven't actually come there's a bit missing from the back and obviously this is all going to have a big six foot fence around it which will be set into the ground there'll be a gate here as well we have an automatic door for the coop as well um i can give you a little look inside now it's painted the same green on the roof now we were going to paint the whole roof that color but I do like this sort of cedar wood as well but I'm not sure now this is a design that Ali did um, because we knew we were going to have an automatic door he asked them to give the coop two doors this will be the automatic door that is on a special system this is where you get the eggs from in here which I can't actually open at the, at the moment but I think it's locked off if you are rubbing yourself in something ah, no no rubbing yourself in poo. No. Look how happy he is. And then this is the part that opens up and that's how we clean it. But this is more of a decorative door, but we can have it open if like we want to let the chickens out ourselves. I think it's a little bit stuck because of the paint. Yeah, I can't open that at all to even show you inside. Oh. I have to get Ali to come and open that for you to show you around but I can kind of show you here oh that's not showing you anything either <laughs> well that was an anti-climax but I can show you what it looks like so what we're going to have is obviously wildflowers so you won't see necessarily the underneath of the um the grass around here and um I actually spoke to 
um, a few ladies say because what we were going to do is go to a local poultry center to get the chickens but we've actually found someone that sort of specializes in the type of chickens that we want so it was a great recommendation from a lady today which was very very helpful so we've got that let's show you this little area looking all lovely growing in still no outdoor kitchen though still no outdoor kitchen <laughs> but this is just looking like a different a different garden up here like I just I actually can't believe how beautiful it looks now and with all of the cup and saucer plants now growing up the side they really have like I can't tell you how wonderful climbing plants are for a home like this is just this is only an annual so um, we will have to sort of replant it every year but it's just gone wild I can't wait to see the flowers on it as well and to see it all over the front but it makes such a difference we've got these alliums that I ordered from Sarah Raven as well, these are such a delicate little lilac allium. I'll definitely do more of these next year for sure. Here you can see the little area and you can also, gosh, how beautiful. But um, we're one step closer, still a few steps away just to manage your expectations, still a few steps away in terms of when we'll be getting the chickens, but, um, all in good time. When I tell you I have the world's most adorable husband, I like this actually makes my heart ache uncontrollably. He has put a little step here for Lumi for when she comes in because she always likes to come in through the window. Honestly, I just can't cope. But I'm just, see look my eyes are watering. I'm just about to wash my hair ready for my trip because it takes me such a long time to wash my hair um, that I'm not gonna do it at three in the morning. So 